Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. I hope you're all doing really well. This has arrived in the post and uh, I thought I'd share opening this with you. It's something that I've been on the lookout for for a while. For me, it's quite a nice uh, piece to add to the collection related to the world of tops and collecting. So without further ado, let's crack on. Fortunately, the seller packaged this thing really carefully, which sometimes is a bit hit and miss with uh, stuff getting delivered and the kind of condition that you find it in when it arrives. And here it is. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Got little straps around the middle to keep it in place. The seller has done a really good job packaging this. Uh, but this is a Jurassic Park sticker book starter pack. And uh, this would have come out in 1993 here in the UK. And um, I've seen various forms of these. In fact, let me get the one I already own. Okay, so the one I've been familiar with and have owned for years is this Topps starter kit. Uh, only 99p and it came with two packs of stickers and one sticker book. And actually what I think has happened is inside the packet here, they've even got loose stickers. So I don't know if they've come out of the packet over the years because the glue notoriously that seals these packets degrades over time. So you will actually find these packets quite easily pop open. But yeah, this is the pack I'm used to with this bright yellow back. This is your sticker book, 99p including starter pack. And I seem to remember seeing this in the shops actually. But this one seems to be um, a little bit earlier, I think, because it comes with this Topps Sunset card header. And um, this one's more scarce. And this comes with four packs of stickers. And this is 199. So it's uh, a little bit more pricey, but you get more for your money, I guess. And uh, I don't remember seeing this one in the shops, but um, this is a really nice one and a rare one to add to my collection. Let's open this up. The seller's done a tremendous job packing this. I'm going to give them some really good feedback. A little trick with sticky tape, because what happens is as you pull things out, they get stuck on the sticky tape that it's actually kind of sealed in quick trick is just to fold over the tape before you remove the object and that way things don't catch on that sticky tape. Alright, here it is. Wow. Okay, let's take these straps off. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's slide it out. And there we have it. Beautiful condition. Really, really lovely. That header is just in beautiful, bright condition. And it's a classic Jurassic Park sunset. That's what I love. Distributed by Topps Ireland Limited. Ah, so maybe this was exclusive to Ireland. Some stuff was, you know. Bumper starter pack set 199 includes 24 stickers. Now I do also have one already opened because I expect a lot of you are curious and I have done a review on these before. So um, I'll put links to reviews of this sticker album and the sticker set uh, down below, but just so that you get a feel for what the actual sticker books are like. Um, this is actually a, a blank one. I thought it might be a completed one. Um, but yeah, this is what it was actually like when you opened up the, the sticker book. And it actually had the text uh, telling a sort of shortened version of the story of Jurassic Park. And uh, I did have this, I think. I do vaguely remember owning this, but I think mine fell to pieces. You can see in the background there, the mural, which was in the kitchen area in Jurassic Park. And this is where you'd place all of your stickers. There's the track. 
going along the center of the road for the explorers and there's the explorer itself for some reason they've got some parts uh, in capitals at the start of the paragraphs to kind of keep it interesting so here it says, I found a way to reroute the program, said Arnold, <laughs> in capital letters. Obviously now, capital letters in an email means you're shouting. So it's quite um, quite funny to see the starts of each paragraph written as if they're shouting. Can't quite work out what that background is. Looks like maybe it's jungle, maybe it's amber. It's hard to tell actually. This is a jungle backdrop. And there's one of uh, the tree. You can just vaguely make out Grant there in the background. And actually this is in really nice condition inside. It's really nice in this day and age to be able to revisit the past uh, with such clarity, you know, to be able to actually go back and look at something. For me, this is like a, a museum artifact. So. It's lovely to be able to go back. And there were 216 altogether made by Tops. Um, so yeah, there we go. 99p, including starter pack. So that was the actual sticker book. So I think I probably will seal this up again in uh, some nice cellophane. But before I do that, I'm probably going to give it a quick clean because before I seal it up, there's just a little bit, I don't know if you can even see it, but there's just a little bit of dust or something that's gathered on the edges and I can feel on the on the surface just a little bit of some sort of dirt residue. So I'm just gonna give that a quick clean. So you may have seen this before, I've just got um, some water mixed with detergent and I'm actually gonna spray a little bit onto um, a cotton, an all cotton cloth. That's just nice and damp. And then what I'm going to do is just gently rub over the surface. Just get it nice and clean. I don't want to do this too vigorously because I don't want to tear the plastic or cause any damage. To be honest, there's not much coming off visibly on the cloth. So I think this was in pretty good condition, but I can just feel it when I pick the thing up. I'm not going to go near these the staples here. So I'm not going to go near those staples because obviously metal things corrode. So I don't wanna get any on the staples, but it's pretty cool. And this is actually paper, so I don't wanna interfere with this area too much. On that label at the bottom there. Yeah, but that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Just a nice sort of surface clean uh, before I seal this away. Okay, I've actually got a nice fresh roll of cellophane, and uh, it's a big roll. This is florist cellophane. I've gone for 40 micron, which seems to be a fairly good thickness for protecting things. It's not too thin. I'm just gonna lay out a piece on this table. I've got a nice amount of space to lay this out. Okay, and with the sticker book down, I can see that I just need about this length of plastic and I've got some nice sharp scissors here they're actually scissors for cutting fabric I find they're nice and sharp for cutting through this sort of material they do a good job but that will do for now okay and then I don't think I need the whole width of this piece um, I need like double the width of this sticker book. So if I measure across, let's cut up there. And the reason why I use florist cellophane is I find that in bulk, it's cheaper than if you look for kind of like book protection plastic or something like that, something more specialized, it tends to be more expensive, but this does just as good a job. So it does tend to be a bit cheaper if you want to look for something to wrap your collectibles in. And this piece of cellophane I can use for something else. So I will actually keep that off cut to one side to use on something else that's smaller because I do actually use the off cuts. So let's take this now. And what I'm gonna do is turn the sticker book, book over. And that kind of centered. And now 
I can fold it over one side, pin it down with something. I've just got some magic tape here by Scotch. The reason why I use magic tape is because it's quite friendly for peeling off. Not always, but most of the time. So if you did want to repackage this or out of the protective film, then you can do at a later date. And also semi-transparent so you can see the writing through the, through the plastic. So just folding in the corners, make a nice crease. Seam on the other side, get a bit of tape. Fold this over the top. There we go. And it does just make things pop a little bit more, especially around the top here, around the header. You know, you see that gloss, that sheen, just makes it look nicer. And I feel I can be a little bit less careful picking this thing up now and transporting it uh, to my collection. So yeah, gave it a quick clean, wrapped it in some florist cellophane, 40 micron, used a bit of uh, Scotch magic tape, and uh, now I can add that to my collection or put it on display. Here's a sealed box of Topps Jurassic Park stickers as they came uh, in the 1990s. 25p for one of these sachets of stickers. And uh, yeah, I was over the moon when I found this particular box. It's, uh, it's not often you find a sealed box of Topps Jurassic Park stickers. So it does actually very closely resemble the packaging for this particular starter set. So it all ties in together. And as you may have seen in my recent uh, candies and foodstuffs review, uh, these are my other tops, bits and pieces that I remember seeing in the shops. So collecting the tops Jurassic Park stuff for me uh, really takes me back to 1993. I remember these stickers and I remember the tops cards. So um, for me collecting things like this, uh, I get a real kick out of it. So it's great to have found this new header set, which seems to be maybe exclusive to Ireland. And I also have the 99p starter kit too. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this opening and uh, wrapping in cellophane. Uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know. In the meantime, rate, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.